and permitting bank usury. <laughs> Using the deception that to deal with the debt crisis in Greece, Europe, increasing the competitiveness of national economies can only be achieved by reducing labor costs, once again. Still no mention of intervention in tax havens where the great fortunes rest of making laws against tax evasion. Still no talk, still no talk of tax and financial transactions, regulating ratings agencies, etc. Still no mentioning of measures against unemployment and in favor of social welfare. Still there is no consideration for a public and an independent audit of public debt in order to enable citizens to know what the debt really is and what part of it actually corresponds to the banks and private entity funds, which according to the data we have constitutes most of the public debt. Once again, we are set the empowerment of society on a platter in benefit on expanding the great fortunes and accentuating, accentuating the social divide. In this way, the historical record of the profits of large financial corporations are once again enlarged even more. The record high salaries of CEOs and executives will increase even more and thus will reach record levels of poverty and unemployment. The difficulty of accessing this information is due to the lack of political transparency and the fear that all Europe will take the street. This is a world revolution! 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 United will never be defeated. Revolution! Revolution!